Hi, I'm Sven from 3Shape, Senior Product Manager responsible for lab scanners and software. The purpose of this video is to show you how you get the occlusion right using the 3Shape scanners and the transfer plates and the articulator calibration object. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to scan this case. But before I do that, I need to calibrate my system. Now, for that, I before I even start, I get my articulator calibration object and I mount that in the articulator. So I have it here. It's these square blocks and it has been mounted in the uh, in the articulator so that this plane here where they divide is exactly in the default plane of the of the articulator right so now i have everything in place in order to do my calibration so i go into the software and start the scan server. The easiest way to do that is from Dental Manager. There is a button here. You click that, and then the scan server will start. If you already had scanner case, scan server would be started in, in uh, already, but uh, but now uh, scan server is started. And now down here, you can find that little scan icon, uh, and then you click that to open it. And in order to to calibrate my system, I go into Tools, Manage Interface Plates, and in here, I can calibrate my system. Now, just to start over. I'll delete the calibration that I had. And in here, you can calibrate the system. So all you need to do is you click Add. Then it'll ask you what type of articulator is it that you have. In this case, it's an Artex. And then you give it a name. I will call mine Artex 1. And then I continue. And then the software will guide you what to do. It'll ask you to place the lower on the left and the upper on the right. Now in order to do that, I need to use my transfer plates. So I have transfer plates, one stripe and a two stripe, and the lower goes on the one stripe one, which fits on the one stripe in the scanner. And the upper goes on the two stripe that fits in the scan as well. And then you start the calibration. Click continue and then it'll do it automatically. And that's it. Then the calibration is done. Um, so I'll click done on the calibration and you can see that it was added to the list. Now, if you do not have uh, a D2000, but one of the one axis scanner, the process is a little bit different using just one transfer plate, one after the other, but essentially it's the same thing. The software will guide you through it. A question that I've been asked a few times is which scanners does this work for? Well, the telltale sign is whether they have a scan height adapter. If you have a scan height adapter, your scanner has the large interior which is needed to scan uh, the articulated cases. Um, so, so that is really uh, the rule that you can apply. Good. So that was the calibration. I only need to do that once, so I'm not going to going to have to do that again. So I'll use my transfer plates for the actual scanning. And I'll put the calibration object away. Now, I want to scan this case. So I'll go in, make the order normally. There is a molar. There is a three unit bridge up here. Pontic. And a 
Twitch. So I created my order and I'll start the scanning. With the scanning, the scan software will, uh, will begin and it'll inform me that I should put the lower on the left and the upper on the right. And you can see down here that I have chosen an interface plate. So that is the interface plate that I just calibrated. And that is the important part that you need to tell the software that that is what you're doing. Once you have that, you simply mount the lower on the left and the upper on the right. Remembering that the two stripes goes on the right, just like in the scanner. And the one stripe goes on the left, just like in the scanner. And now you're ready to do the scanning, just like normal. The only difference to the scanning process is when you come to the bite process. But for now, I'll do the case just like normally. I'll do a preview scan and, um, and yeah, basically scan. So, I'm done with the scanning uh, of the upper and the lower. Now I need to find the bite. Uh, so what you would usually do is you, that you would scan the bite. But in this case, I calibrated my system. So I don't need to scan the bite. You can see that it already found the position. But it also did give me a warning that there wasn't fully contact. And why was that? Well, that's because mounting in gypsum with that accuracy, the last few microns of accuracy, well, that really is, is, is difficult. So if you have a case where there is contact or supposed to be contact, you can just use uh, the optimized occlusion button and then uh, the software will just make a small adjustment so that you can find the occlusion. And I'll just inspect here to see if it in fact did find uh, the uh, occlusion. And you can see here that here, the occlusion in this side is perfect. And where is the occlusion in this other side? Oh, here we go. And that is also perfect. And I also scanned this particular case uh, with texture so that you can see that it, in fact, does uh, hit the contact points. So with that, you have the perfect uh, occlusion. Now, if you have a case where there is no contact, do I then also need to use this optimized occlusion? Well, no, uh, but the changes are so small and in fact, they would also be present in your physical articulator. So the, the changes uh, that you need, uh, if, you are, uh, if you are really um, meticulous when you mount the calibration object and when you mount the models, then you don't need that extra if there is no contact. So it'll, it also works uh, for those cases. But you do have to remember, of course, that the gypsum that you use has to be good. It has to be zero uh, expansion gypsum or at least very, very low expansion gypsum for this system to work. Okay, and that's basically it. Now the scan is done. I found my occlusion uh, and the case uh, is, uh, is in its right position. And I'll show you that in the design software uh, where I can now go after I design my case, I'll go to the design software and I'll show you that the position of the case in the physical articulator is transferred into the software, into the virtual articulator, so that you get the same motion in the two softwares. Okay, so now I'm in the design software. I just set the margin line and, uh, and insertion uh, directions. And what you can now see is that if I click on the virtual articulator, you can see that the position of the model and of the, uh, of the model in the physical articulator and in the virtual articulator is the same. So when I do motions in the virtual articulator, it will be the same motions, the exact same motions as in the physical articulator. And that way, well, you get the right design. So you don't have to make uh, 
corrections afterwards uh, after making your, your restorations and maybe even have fewer remakes. Right, so I'll just show you the articulator, the virtual articulator in motion, and that is, as I said, the same motion that you can get from your physical articulator. And that is how you get the occlusion right with 3Shape Lab Scanners and software. <laughs>